why do four women share one man on earth and share 72 men in heaven? In other words, why do Islam permits polygamy and the other one, women share 72 men in heaven? I would answer the first part of the question and then the second part. Concerning the first part, why do women share four why do four women share one man on earth? First, I would say the Quran is the only religious book on earth which says marry only one, which has the phrase marry only one. There is no other religious book on earth which says marry only one. According to the Hindu scriptures, King Dashrat, the father of Rama, has had multiple wives. Krishna had several wives. Even polygamy is permitted in Christianity. According to the Bible, men were allowed to marry as many wives as they wished. It was later the church put a restriction to the number of wives. Hear me where the church put a restriction to the number of wives a man should marry. Similarly, the Jews in, this, in the Talmudic law, they were permitted to marry as many wives as they wished. According to the Bible, Abraham had three wives and Solomon had hundreds of wives. It was later these laws were changed. Now, as I said earlier, that the Quran is the only religious book on earth that said marry, marry only one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Nisa, Quran number 4, verse number 3, فَانْكِحُوا مَا طَابَ لَكُمْ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ مَثْنَى وَثُلَاثَ وَرُبَاعَ See, marry women of your choice, two or three or four. وَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَنْ لَا تَعْدِلُوا فَوَاهِدَةً Here comes the phrase, فَوَاهِدَةً Then marry only one. If you can't add justly as between them, marry only one. So the Quran here said it is permissible for you to marry women of your choice, that two or three or four, with the condition that you can add justly as between them. So the Quran permitted the upper limit of four with condition that you can add justly between them. And in this same verse, in this same surah, this same chapter in the Quran, is this say in Surah Nisa, Quran 4, verse 129. وَلَن تَسْتَتِعُوا أَن تَعْدِلُوا بَيْنَ النِّسَاءِ وَلَوْ هَرَّسْتُمْ وَلَن تَسْتَتِعُوا أَن تَعْدِلُوا بَيْنَ النِّسَاءِ وَلَوْ هَرَّسْتُمْ You can never act justly as between women even if it is your ardent desire. Here, the Quran said you should marry, you should marry more than one with the condition like act justly as between them. And the Quran is also telling you that you can't act justly. It's more of like discouraging you. It's not easy. Marrying more than, wife, more than one wife is not actually for everybody. But Islam permits this because it is the solution to the problem of humanity. So, according to statistics, out of 715 men, in Islam, one take more than one wife. Then what happened to the many 714? If you even check very well, the non-Muslims are the ones taking more wives than even the Muslims. And you still see some, although there are some ignoramus amongst the Muslims, that they will even take more than four. This is not permitted. It's not permitted at all. So marrying more than one wife does not make you holier or better than anyone marrying one wife. No. It does not marry more than one wife does not make you gain Jannah. Marrying more than one wife does not make you better than one a, a, a man with one wife. This is permissible. It is mobah. It is not compulsory. It is only uh, permissible. You see, according to statistics, more female, female children are born that will have higher number of 
uh, during childbirth, we have high number of female children as compared to the male children. And during childbirth, the female children have more ability to fight diseases during childbirth. And most times, the male children die. Then, as time goes on, the men, you know, grow up going out to do daily activities, some join the military, and the daily activity with, by statistics, more men die than women. And you can only find more men in few countries like Nigeria and maybe some other countries like India and China that has more men than women. This is solely because of the rate of the female infanticide, killing of female fetuses, abortion. As we all know in Nigeria, how some men are so bent on getting male children, you know, they are fanatical about it, getting male children. This is known. So if this barbaric act stop, even in these countries, the, they will have more female children than the male children. Then talking on the general world population, USA alone has 7.8 million females more than males. The new in New York, they have 1 million females more than males. The Britain, they have 4 million females more than males. Russia, they have 9 million females more than males. Now tell me, if your sister, or so if my sister, happens to be in this country, for example, the USA, and every man has gotten a wife, and these um, population, without this, without counting the, the gays, those are the, the sodomites, those who has taken homosexuality as part of their life, if every man has gotten a wife and your sister or master happens to be in this saturated market without a husband, what would you want her to do? Should she go as a second wife and she will be respected, be given a right as a wife, or she will become a mistress to a man that is already married? And that's what's happening today. Women have lost value, becoming mistresses. Of married men destroying people's marriage it's common now but Islam does not want this for the women because Islam uplifts the women does not degrade them so instead of them going as mistresses and destroying other people's marriage it permits the man to take another woman give her the same right as the first wife protect her cater for her and everything so, it depends on you what you want to choose. Either the woman marries as a second wife or they become the property of everybody to use. Concerning the second part of the question, that 72 women share a man in heaven. Now, this question, I don't know where it's coming from, but... This shouldn't be the problem of anybody. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised us that the Jannah is something that we can't even imagine. And you have everything that you wish. So when Allah said he would give you 72 maidens, whore, in Jannah, then and one and that thing you should know, if you are married here, you will also be with your wife in Jannah. And some might still ask, um, okay, injustice, the man has seven two whore, then what of the woman? The woman when the, this particular question was asked to asked to Hazrat Aisha anha, and she said, The woman will get that which her which her eyes have not seen which she has never desired for. 
So the Jannah is beyond our own imagination. What we should be bothered about is how to get to Jannah, how to enter the Jannah. This is only a tip of the iceberg amongst what we would see in Jannah. You know? So we can't even imagine what we might want, what would be good for us. So I hope this answers the question. Asalaamu Alaikum.